read that headline for a second here. Just kind of read that headline. This this popped up today. This this popped up a little bit ago as I was prepping for tonight's show. Uh, Dan Aykroyd apparently has penned a Ghostbusters 60s prequel. Now, when I first read that, my first thought was these guys are in their 70s, their 60s or 70s, right? Does that mean that he has in fact penned a sequel of them in their 60s? Is this going to be the actual Ghostbusters 3 following up Ghostbusters 2020? Is this where it's going to be? And the answer to that is no, actually it's not. It says here that uh, I've written Ghostbusters High where they meet in New Jersey in 1969. And we're looking to do that as probably a glorified feature or pilot within maybe the next five years. And it would lead to a television project, and I thought of Jason Reitman immediately for that. It's on his desk, but that's years away from the current project. But it's a neat idea for a prequel. Imagine casting three characters as teenagers. We have at least one or two other concepts for the Ghostbusters, and then we'll look at doing a prequel, which will be the perfect button on all that we've done up until that point. Now, if you recall, Dan Aykroyd has talked quite openly about how he wanted to do a Ghostbusters cinematic universe. He mentioned this a couple of years ago in one of the prospects that he mentioned. One of the project ideas was Ghostbusters in high school. And at the time, my interpretation of that was he wasn't meaning Venkman and Stance and Egon uh, inside high school. I thought it was going to be like we take the Ghostbusters to high school, like the Ghostbusters Club, a group of, you know, Stranger Things meets Ghostbusters, like that kind of thing is what I was interpreting it as. And I'm not against it, because for one, I love Stranger Things and I love Ghostbusters. So, so there's that. But really, when you think about what he's talking about here, it's going back to 1969 in New Jersey, Bankman, Stance, and Egon all hanging out in high school. Bankman obviously trying to trick the ladies into getting with him as he did in the first movie and Ray and Egon, you know, desperately working on their product, their projects. Now, this could be specifically where they end up learning about ghosts and where they end up, you know, to trying to determine whether or not this stuff exists. However, even though it's coming from Dan Aykroyd, who did create the franchise with Ivan Reitman and Harold Ramis, I do kind of feel like this would be stepping backwards. I don't feel it's necessary. I don't feel a Ghostbusters prequel is something that I would really want to see. I'm not saying I wouldn't watch it because if it comes out and it's Dan Aykroyd produced or he's involved in any way, yes, I'm going to watch it. A hundred percent going to be there. Like, all right, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it, right? I'm going to be all, all ready for that. I'm going to be super happy to see it. But I also realize that it's kind of like not necessary and I don't want it to be necessary, you know? But he says here also, we have one or two other concepts for Ghostbusters and then we'll look at doing the prequel. Now, what are the other one and two concepts? Is that the 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 Ghostbusters animated movie we heard about a couple of years ago that was supposed to come out either this year or 2020? Is, is that still in the works? There's been no movement on that whatsoever. We do know that there is going to be in just a couple of weeks at Ghostbusters Fan Fest in Los Angeles. It's a two day event at the Sony lot. And it's like pretty expensive to go. I think it's also kind of sold out. So hopefully out of that, we're going to get a lot of news surrounding Ghostbusters, a lot of news surrounding what's going to be coming down the pipeline and maybe a peek at just what's going to be going on with Ghostbusters 2020 and get a little bit more information. So in the meantime, I'm really hoping that Aykroyd uh, gives us something good and that we're able to have some stuff to take home because as far away as we can get from the 2016 reboot and back on track with current Ghostbusters, we're all we're all 100% better off. And I and I don't think that I'm the only one here to, to even remotely think that. And, and, and we all know it. We all want to forget that movie exists. There's maybe like 20 people who are like, I loved Ghostbusters 2016. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't like it. You were told to like it. You were lied to. Get on board with the good stuff. Although then again, I've defended the Game of Thrones series finale quite a bit and people out there probably would say the same thing to me. So like what you like, but we can have friendly disagreements.